what's up you guys it's your girl love really and i am back with another video as you can see from the thumbnail and the title in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your basic balloon garlands look fuller and shout out to the sponsor for today's video lafaris and they sent me this beautiful backdrop which i'm going to be working with today if you'd like to check out their website to see the other options that they have a backdrop also personalized options the link will be in my description box down below but without further ado let's just get straight into this video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't already so for this garland, I'm going to be doing a lower theme, obviously. So I'm using Qualtex brand yellow, Caribbean blue, pink, magenta, orange, and also the lime green from Tuftex. I was going to use some jumbo balloons, but I've just decided to make the garland solely just a basic garland. So the sizes that I use are 11 inch, 16 inch, and five inch for the fillers or baby balloons. The first trick to a organic balloon garland is to make sure not to inflate the balloons the same exact size. It's organic, so it's supposed to have different shapes and sizes. So when I'm inflating my 11 inches, I make one larger than the other and that is how I make my clusters and I usually make a cluster of eight whenever I'm building the base for my garlands. This is exactly what I'm doing right now on the video. When I'm making my cluster of eight, instead of tying the necks of the balloons, I usually just wrap pairs of balloons together until I get my cluster. All I do is just wrap it around, make sure that it's secured enough. My clusters change every day. I do this cluster and I also do this other cluster that I just started doing. It's just a cluster of four balloons, 11 inch balloons, and then I have another cluster of four or five inch balloons that I add to it to create another type of cluster. And this is also what I add to the base of my balloon garland. You guys will see how it looks on the base when I add it to the stand. When I'm making a bigger type of balloon garland structure, then I would do clusters of like eight, but I would have like three 16 inch balloons in it just to make it super big. But because this is just a basic balloon garland, I'm mainly using um, 11 inch balloons and then I'll be adding some 16 inch after I put the um, the base of the garland on the frame. And you guys will see how I do that later on in the video. Now it's time to start building the balloon garland and all I'm doing is tying the neck of the balloons to bring the clusters together. I used to use a fishing line or a ribbon but I don't anymore. This method works perfectly for me and my balloon garlands stay intact. You are more than welcome to use your own method as long as your work comes out looking nice and it's sturdy. But this is the method that works best for me. And now that I have the base of my balloon garland all done, I'm gonna add it onto my backdrop. And I'm using my photo backdrop that I got from Amazon. I have the link for that in the description box below. I used 260 balloons to add my garland to the stand. I have about four or five different tying points just to make sure that my garland is secure on the stand. So I have like two at the bottom, two at the top, and like one or two in the middle on the top of the backdrop just to make sure that the balloon garland stays on the stand.
Alright you guys, so now I'm finished adding the base of my balloon garland to the stand. I know a lot of people make their garlands like this and just leave it and be like, okay, I'm done. Pay me my money, but we don't do that around here. We have to spruce it up a little bit. So now I would normally go in with my jumbo balloons and stuff like that, but because we're just sticking to a basic garland, the largest size I'm going to be using is 16 inch just like you see I have in my hand right now. So I'm just going to go in with clusters of two, uh, like a pair of um, the color to add to each section just to make that section look fluffier or fuller. You guys will see exactly how I'm doing it but all I'm doing is just taking clusters of two or four, adding it to the sections to make it look fuller. Then we'll go in with our smaller balloons. and other type of decor so sit back and watch me work Alright, so after you're finished with your base of the balloon garland, when you're comfortable with it, when you don't see a lot of spaces, when it's looking right, then we could go in with our fillers and fillers are what we use to fill in like spaces and actually to add more texture to your balloon garland. I have clusters of two, three, and mainly four that I tie at the end of 260 balloons and wrap it around my clusters. I also have some fillers that are not attached to 260 balloons that I just um, go in and like tie it to the neck of one of those bigger clusters on the balloon garland. Okay guys, so I have a little helpful tip which I also need to tell myself but do not or try not to go overboard with your 5 inch fillers. I tend to do that a lot but I'm trying to you know, use less 5 inch fillers. I'm trying to head into a different direction when it comes to my balloon garlands but try not to go overboard with the 5 inch fillers. I don't know. I think it looks like teeth sometimes when too much is added to the garland yup 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 but i don't know that's just my opinion about it i try to use like one um set of fillers for each section now i normally do like two or three and then I, I started not to like it but that's just a helpful tip for anybody else who cares and sometimes if you need to add more balloons to a section and there's no room to tie it by the neck, I would just use a 260 balloon to attach it just like I'm about to do with this little pink cluster right here. Alright, because the theme is Aloha and I would like to spruce up my balloon garland a little more, I've decided to add some foil pineapple balloons and also foil flamingo balloons. The link for these will also be in my description box down below, but I'm sure you can find it at any one of your balloon distributor stores. I 
I'm going to be using some glue dashes to attach that to my garland. I'm going to be using the same glue dashes to attach the flamingo to the pole of the backdrop. I felt like this is where it fits best. And guys, it's only right I add some leaves to it. I also have some paper tape wrapped around the end of these stems because it was metal and I didn't want it to pop the balloons. Just another helpful tip. Alright guys, so here is the end results for our Aloha theme basic balloon garland. Yes guys, this is still a basic garland. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Give this video a big thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also another shout out to LaFaris for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to check out more of their backdrops, the link to their website will be in the description box down below thank you guys for watching and i'll definitely catch you all in the next video bye